Since 1956, Aerostar has been challenging the limits of technology. Aerostar is an aerospace and defense contractor that works on high altitude stratospheric balloons, radar systems, and protective wear. And our mission is to connect, protect, and save lives. Today, Aerostar is a diversified technology company that continues to be a world leader in the design, development, and manufacturing of aerospace products. For decades, Aerostar has been at the forefront of high altitude research and has a distinguished history of collaborating with university, scientific, and military partners. Back in 1956, there was a lot of new technology being developed. It was a lot of testing for pre-NASA space race scientific research. Some of the first work that they were doing with the high altitude balloons was before they had put people up in rockets. For years, Aerostar has collaborated with NASA to use high altitude research balloons in Antarctica. Felix Baumgartner was carried by an Aerostar balloon to the stratosphere from which he completed his record shattering space dive. Aerostar has spent decades refining high altitude balloon technology, designing, engineering, and manufacturing the end product. It is a technology that can get balloons to the stratosphere reliably, inexpensively, and from anywhere in the world. The satellite is reasonably expensive to put into space and it doesn't just happen quickly. The balloon is orders of magnitude cheaper than that. What a balloon can do is it can navigate to a certain point that you can specify and it can linger there for weeks or months on command. I can put it where I want it or in the vicinity of where I want it for a long period of time, reasonably inexpensively and with short notice. The possibilities only grow as Aerostar develops smaller hardware and smarter technology. We say not even the sky is the limit. If you take what we know about flying in the stratosphere that we didn't used to know, add into that better battery technology, better solar technology, better computing and navigation smarts, I think there's a lot that can be done that hasn't been done before.